In this lesson, we are going to list products from commerce.js. In the Next.js application, you will have a list of products that shows products image, name, and price. And we will be connected to the commerce.js using API key and show products on the homepage. Let's get to code. Here is the plan to list products in the home screen. First of all, we need to create commerce.js in utils folder and then update index.js to show list of products on the home page. Click on Explorer. In the root folder, right click new folder and set folder name to utils.js. Inside that, we are going to create a utility file for connecting to commerce.js. Enter the name to commerce.js. Uh, in this point, we need to install commerce.js package from npm. Open your terminal, click on plus icon, and type npm install, and the name of package is at sign check slash commerce.js. After installing this package, we need to import commerce.js here. And then let's define a variable named commerce. After defining this variable, we need to define a function to get commerce instance. In this function, we have a parameter and the parameter is commerce public key. In the body of this function, first of all, we check commerce variable. If it does exist, we just return the created instance of commerce. So we do not, you know, create it again and again when we need it. Otherwise, we need to create a new instance of commerce.js. To create an instance, we need to get public key from .env file from the environment variable. But if user passed the public key using this function parameter, we use that. Next step, we need to find the development environment boolean value. If the process.env.nodeEnvironment is development, we set a flag to dev environment to true, otherwise it's gonna be false. We need that to pass it as a parameter for commerce instance. Okay, let's have a condition here. If we are in development mode and public key was not provided, then we show an error message to user. Otherwise, we have a important command here. We create a new instance of commerce and we pass two parameter public key. We get this from check.io and the variable for and the flag for dev environment. After creating the instance, just we just need to return that. At the end, we need to export this function as a default export. Great. We created the utility function to get access to an instance of commerce.js and we are ready to go to the pages index.js. Here is the home page. And what we need to do in the home page is to just list products. Let's get rid of content inside main here. And at the very end, we are going to define get static props function because in the server side, we are going to get list of products from commerce.js and render them in the server side and send them to the client. Here is the function. We need to use export async function get static props. In the body of this function, what we're gonna do is to create an instance of 
commerce using get commerce function press control space to import get commerce from util.js it's the function that we created earlier after getting the instance we need to call commerce.products.list this command returns a promise so we use await here to get the content of this function it returns all products and we get the data and rename them to products after getting that we need to return them to the render function we return an object in this object we have a props and in the props we pass the products that we get from commerce.products.list great so by running this function in the component we can get access to the product using props so what i'm gonna do here is to get products from props and here what i need to do is to use map function in the main section inside map function we can render devs inside devs we need to set key and set key to product.id so what i'm gonna show here is an image set source of image to product.media.source set alternative text to product.name inside the paragraph enter product.name in another paragraph enter product.price and let's keep it simple we only show product image name and price and for price set price dot formatted with symbol great uh, what i'm gonna do is to run the project open your terminal close all instances of a node and then run a fresh npm run diff and press enter after getting this message control click on it to open it in new window great here we have all products like this iphone as you see that's what we wanted to have at the very end great in this lesson what we did is to create a list of products from commerce.js platform and for next lesson we are going to improve this list and make it beautiful